Hey, I'm Stanton Moore here, and I have something really exciting that I want to talk to you all about. I'm sitting here with Dr. Brett Dietz, and Dr. Dietz, tell everybody who you are. Hi, um, I'm the uh, professor of percussion at Louisiana State University. So what we want to talk to you all and tell you about is that I have accepted the position as artist in residence, teaching the drum set program over at LSU. So I'm very excited and Brett has come into town for us to talk about ideas mm -hmm. and I will be starting there on September 11th and I'm very excited to announce this and tell you all about it. So we're gonna talk a little bit more but just wanted to make that announcement and let y'all know what's going on. Very cool. Yes indeed, looking forward to coming over there. Yeah. We're happy to have you, Stan. It's Thank going to you be very awesome. much, Dr. Dietz. Um, this has been something that I've been uh, trying to do uh, for the past 17 years, actually. And uh, and I think every time I've seen you, Stan, I've asked you, would you like to come teach at LSU? <laughs> like, And I think the last time I asked you was uh, during Marty Hurley's memorial service. Yes. And uh, and so now uh, we've, we've uh, run into some money at the uh, College of Music and Dramatic Arts, and uh, we have been able to... Uh, find the funding to get Stanton to come down and teach at LSU and uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, I know the students are really excited and I am truly excited to have you there as, yeah. a, as, a, as a drum set artist. I'm excited for multiple reasons. The things that have developed and transpired since we first started talking about this many years ago is that now too I have my drum academy with a lot of my curriculum available so I can make it work that you guys in Baton Rouge, I can come several times a semester, do master classes, have everybody enrolled into my curriculum. Everything's written out, everything's videoed, and they can keep up with everything that way. And then I come in and teach privately in person and also do the master classes and have some hands-on uh, experience there. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that we're gonna be doing that I'm excited about is we're going to perform and record and film me playing with Hammer Rouge, the, the percussion ensemble that you have there. And you've written a piece. Mm -hmm. And you want to tell them about the, the piece that, that we're going to be doing? Sure. And I, I got inspired to write this piece based on um, what you're working on for your new book, which is basically taking rudimental solos and incorporating them into the drum set. And uh, so Stanton gave me that idea, and then I thought, well, okay, so what I'll try to do is uh, create something off of three camps. And the piece is called Camp Stanton. I love it. And uh, so it's five players, and we start off the piece with uh, playing three camps all together, and then it goes into uh, an Afro-Cuban kind of feel, and then a March kind of feel, and then back to the Afro-Cuban, and then we end with three camps again. So we're looking, that's, uh, we're gonna record that on September 11th and get it out to everybody. Yeah. So. We're gonna record that. I'm also, I've been practicing shedding, working on three cadences. So I'm gonna <laughs> go and perform and film and record with the drum line as well. Mm -hmm. And I will set the drums up in front of the drum line and, and perform one of these cadences. And this is something similar to what I've been doing too with the Brother Martin drum line, whenever we do Mardi Gras, <laughs> which is a Marty Hurley tribute where we raise some funds for the brother martin band mm -hmm. and so i've been playing with their drum line and uh keeping up my my facility in that way and, <laughs> and uh and that's been fun and challenging for me and so you know I've well i also think one of the cadences that they gave you was uh uh blue raiders exactly. right okay exactly. so that's a marty hurley cadence yep so. which is not one that we were playing at brother martin so i never learned that one yet but i'm learning it now there and, you go and i've been shedding along to some of the youtube videos of the lsu line <laughs> and uh and just trying to memorize all that stuff and have it all ready to go so so that's fun and I'm looking forward to all of these things we'll be doing together and we'll be posting those things, putting them up on social media mm -hmm. so people can check it out. And I'm excited for all the things that we have in store and, and I'm looking to actually learn a lot because as you mentioned, I'm working on my third book, which is gonna be some of my approach on how I've applied some of the rudimental stuff to the drum set. So I'm gonna be looking forward to taking some of the students and I don't wanna say using them as guinea pigs, but trying out some of my ideas and refining and finding out what works and and it's going to be a great oppor opportunity for me to be able to try some of these things out see what works refine it and really try to dial these things in so it's going to be a very reciprocal and symbiotic relationship that i'm looking forward to and i'm glad that you reached out and 
and stayed, uh, you know, <laughs> persistent. And and now it's just working out that all these things are aligning to where we're going to be able to make it work very in a very uh, fluid way. I think. Yeah. So just uh, just uh, just to go over like what is available at LSU in terms of like your degree programs. Um, you know, you can do a uh, doctorate, a master's, and uh, a bachelor of music in performance, plus there's a bachelor of music education, and uh, there's also a BA in jazz and an MM in jazz performance as well. And all of these degree programs, you can study with Stanton and study with me. And uh, so if you're out there and you're interested, come hit us up. Yes, indeed. All, all right. right thanks a lot, man. Yes, indeed. All right. Cool.